I guess I owe Marvel an apology. The original king of seizure-inducing studio logos is New Line Cinema. Jesus, I need to sit down. Movie opens with some kind of picture-in-picture -picture bullshit image size, and I don't like it. Credits font is one degree away from Comic Sans. <laughs> Let's see, I can enter the dreams of children, and my first thought for a weapon is finger knives. Discount Jennifer Grey. Like, I legitimately thought this was Jennifer Grey for a second. Why is this hallway so f***ing wet? Was there a burst pipe or something? Yes, believe it or not, there was a time in this world when Johnny Depp needed introducing. <laughs> ah, goats! Wait, the f***? I'm not scared of f***ing goats. Movie unintentionally inspires the finale to Terminator 2 Judgment Day. So what do you dream? Forget it, Tina. The point is that everyone has a bad dream once in a while. No sh Nancy. She asked what your dream was, not some condescending thing you tell a four-year-old after a nightmare. Right, right, I'll call you in the morning. Yeah, yeah, sure, I... Glenn gets a sound effects tape from his friend to fool his mom into thinking he's staying at a place near the airport. But for hilarious comic relief, he somehow doesn't know that car crashes and women screaming are also on this tape. And hearing those fingernails. Fingernails? That made me remember the dream I had last night. Remember? The one I wouldn't tell you a minute ago because I felt the need to tell you how bad dreams work? I'm gonna punch out your ugly lights, whoever you are. I think this movie is actually set in present day 1980s, but threats still come at a 1950s style pace. <laughs> Shrug and tackle cliche. Oh, what's that? Intense, huh? Rod decides to bring a gardening tool to the party he crashes for pretty much zero reason other than foreshadowing. So what's going on here? An orgy or something? Maybe a funeral, dickhead. Without warning, movie suddenly turns into West Side Story. Tina allows Rod to put his rod inside of her. Also, teen pregnancy. That's the real nightmare, am I right? You feel better now, right? Jungle man fixed Jane. Tina was broken, because she's a woman, I guess. Anyway, man penis solves all problems. No more fights. No more fights. Man, I miss high school. When you still had some sort of belief that your thoughts weren't delusions. Jesus is a dick to high school girls. Fred Krueger really wants to murder these kids, but sometimes in the dream world, killers are limited by physical walls. Next time, use the window, Freddy. Spooky and iconic image from Nightmare on Elm Street franchise accidentally inspires spooky and iconic balloon men from car dealerships. Watch this. <laughs> it's funny because it's true. Okay, so Rod isn't dreaming right now. This is real. Which means in the real world, people can levitate to the ceiling. Also, these peacocks are hideous. <laughs> Rod is wondering how his penis can fix this. Especially a lunatic delinquent like Lane. Rod is not a lunatic, Dad. Uh, yeah. Asshole people walking by somehow didn't notice the kidnapping maneuver that Rod just pulled in broad daylight. Geez, dude, if you knew this guy you think is a killer was gonna go after your daughter, what took you so long to go back there and save her? You use me! What the hell were you doing going to school today for anyway? Dad cop scolds his daughter for going to school, when her going to school was the basis for his entire operation. Who are you? Yep, that pretty much explains it. I know Freddy likes to play around with his victims, but damn, he doesn't have much time. And he keeps waiting so long that he lets them get away lots of times. I'm sure maybe he's just a patient guy. He knows they have to sleep sometime and he'll get them eventually, but if I was bent on getting revenge through kids' dreams, I'd want to kill them as soon as possible. Especially if they've already escaped me twice. Motley Crew, Wet Nightmare. Nancy, don't fall asleep in there. You could drown, you know. Nancy's mom randomly knocks on the door to give this out-of-nowhere warning about sleep drowning, foiling Freddy once again. Probably not approved by the FDA. Also, name on the label is extremely handy in telling people exactly what the pills inside it do. I'm having horrible nightmares and my best friend just got murdered by someone in my dreams. Let's stay awake watching Evil Dead. Also, this is 1984, and it looks like she's only got UHF, VHF TV with no cable. Which network is playing the Evil Dead at this hour? She even has a book to read. Who tries to stay awake reading books? Who builds something on their house that is basically a perfect ladder straight to their teenage daughter's room? Also, Glenn randomly comes at the perfect time to set up another scary scene. Oh god, I look 20 years old. Haha, uh -huh. I guess this is some sort of in-joke, because she is 20 years old, but no, you don't. Come on, 20? When you're 17, is 20 considered old? I've got a crazy favor to ask you. If it doesn't involve sex, I don't care. That's nothing hard or anything. Too late. I'm guessing there's a scene that was cut or not filmed where Nancy saw Tina get zipped up in a body bag and that's why she keeps dreaming of it. The scary part is not that she's dead and visiting Nancy in her dreams. The scary part is that all of this is Rod's actual unborn baby. So we all dodged a bullet there. I'm here. <laughs> ah, Fred. You were just inches away from killing her for the fourth time in this movie, and you went and made two big rookie mistakes. Dream garbage can slow Freddy down in a world where he creates the rules. Nancy dreams in film continuity errors. Window did not have a crack in it before, but does now so that it can be easily smashed. Hey, dreams are tough out there in the hood. Why would this dream set up booby trap stairs, but once she got to the second floor, allow her to run without a problem? Damn, Fred, you've only successfully killed one person in this movie so far. You might want to tone down the wisecracks and jump scares and get on with the killing a little faster next time. Also, how can Freddy slice people up in the dream world and the results show up in the real world, but other stuff he does, like smashing through doors and slashing pillows, totally doesn't carry over to the real world? Remember, he sliced Tina's nightgown earlier and it showed up in the real world. 
So it's not just the physical body that's affected. Glenn, you bastard. Nancy calls Glenn a bastard for failing his guard duties, but first of all, he didn't come to your room in the middle of the night to watch you sleep. Second, if you'd have promised him at least a boob flash for doing this job, he might have been more alert. Single pillow feather suggests that maybe the pillow did get sliced after all, but pillow is intact, so I'm confused. Rod sleeps in his leather jacket because those things are super comfortable when sleeping in jail. Also, this is spooky and all, but why does Freddy bother to hang the guy? Does he think that if he used his finger knives that these cops would crack the case and start doing sleep studies to catch him in the dream world? Furthermore, what is Rod dreaming about so that Freddy can do this to him? This killing is all too sneaky for what we've seen in this movie so far. It's an unsolved murder, and I don't like unsolved murders. Did the police really consider this case unsolved? I mean, yeah, we know there's a guy killing kids in dreams, but they don't. And it would be a pretty open and shut case without that knowledge, because Rod is a knifey sort of guy with priors. Also, this murder is sneaky, but it's also the slowest murder since the horribly slow murder with extremely inefficient weapon. Why would Nike agree to this kind of product placement? Hey guys, I'm gonna get those shoes that asshole Rod wore during the violent hanging scene. Cool, huh? More than three people show up to Rod's funeral. Also, we didn't even get to see Tina's funeral. All we knew about Rod was that he was a dick, and he gets a whole funeral scene. His life and his death attest to the scripture's warning that he who lives by the sword shall die by the sword. Damn, that's some bullshit to be saying at a funeral. These people actually like Rod, for some reason, so dick move from the priest there. Rather than show you Freddy Krueger once again failing at killing Nancy, movie has us watch Barbara Jean and the future voice of Roger Rabbit watching Nancy sleep. I brought something out from my dream. Man, now Freddy's allowing kids to steal his hat? What kind of psycho killer is this? I don't know where you really found it or, or what you're trying to prove. What I learned in the dream clinic. Is your refrigerator running? Time to get a teenager to hold it back. Want and destruction of delicious booze. Somebody forgot to sign a search warrant in the right place and Kruger was free just like that. Oh, come on. Doesn't the signature itself constitute a more or less proper search warrant? Why not just say that someone forgot the search warrant? It would have been more believable than this signature in the wrong place technicality letting a child murderer loose. Took gasoline, poured it all around the place, and made a trail of it out the door. Then lit the whole thing up and watched it burn. What we didn't realize was the burning child murderers sent them into Dominion over the dream world and it would take 15 years for him to return and kill their kids in their sleep. I knew we shouldn't have invited that coven of witches to tag along, but we were real liberal back then. He's dead, honey, because mommy killed him. And dozens of other parents, but I'm brave enough to take credit. Glenn's room is an orgy of evidence that he's into nearly every damn thing there is to be into. Also, Nike socks. Just give me some help nailing the guy when I bring him out. Damn, girl. You won't even sleep with your boyfriend normal style and you're proposing a threesome? Are you crazy? Hit him with what? I don't know, I haven't really thought this through, but what I do know is all jocks have baseball bats. That's for sure. Damn, you've got a bottle of Stay Awake here, another one in the background, and a huge pot of coffee on the TV. Movie encourages addictive lifestyles. A hidden coffee pot might be one of the first signs that you have a problem. Seriously, I could recut this whole movie into an after-school special if I needed to, and include the mom's drinking. R-rated movie teases the f*** out of us for no damn reason. Also, I guess when you're hunting psycho killers, better dress to impress. Glenn's creeping father doesn't approve of Nancy, but apparently is a big fan of the show she just put on in her bedroom. I don't care what you say. I don't want that kid hanging around with our son anymore. Anything you say, creeper alcoholic father who was just introduced to us 10 seconds ago. I would sin this for the convenience that Nancy opens her door just as Nancy's mom happens to be pulling out yet another bottle of alcohol. But I get the feeling that 95% of Nancy's mom's time is spent finding secret alcohol stashes and exploiting them. Glenn's balls turn into a mini TV. Also, Glenn felt the need to label his headphones with his name. You know, just in case in 1984 he was wearing them at school, listening to his iPod, and left them somewhere. You've just got to be firm with these kids, that's all. Let's go. As a matter of fact, Glenn's dad just wandered into this picture a minute ago and suddenly becomes the movie's plot lord. Glenn? So this guy can travel through the phone lines now? Are phone lines and the dream world connected somehow? She's definitely not dreaming. At least, I don't think she is. The stupid ending that makes us reconsider the entire last 20 minutes of this movie hasn't happened yet. What if Glenn tries to call? What are you, the narrator? Well, I'm your boyfriend now, Nancy. Glenn's dad just went overboard. My boyfriend? Yep, his name is Glenn but I too enjoy worrying about people by calling out their direct relationship to me. Oh no, my brother. Oh no, my boss. Oh no, my barbershop quartet. Jesus, finally. That blood from The Shining just can't find the right door, can it? Mom screaming her lungs out does not attract the attention of Glenn's dad, who was so important five minutes ago. How does Glenn's dad not know about the bloodbath upstairs? Was he outside drinking beer and looking in windows this whole time? Without a clue in the world? Just come here and break the door down in exactly 20 minutes. Nancy knows exactly the length of time it will take her to go to sleep, fight Freddy Krueger, and bring him out into the real world. You know what that 80s synth music means, right? 
time for a montage. I think it's safe to say for this scene alone, the entire Home Alone franchise is indebted to Nightmare on Elm Street. Also, apparently reading a book on booby traps makes you an expert on making booby traps. Also, Nancy told her dad to break down the door in 20 minutes. These tasks alone would take 20 minutes or more. Nancy's mom's pillows aren't piles of liquor bottles. Oops, spoke too soon. And now I lay me down to sleep. I pray the Lord my soul to keep. Lord's Prayer Cliché. I pray the Lord my soul to take. Last four words of the Lord's Prayer inspire way, way worse Wes Craven movie 26 years later. Okay, let's see. In 20 minutes, Glenn died, the entire city went to Glenn's house, and Nancy strung up an entire book's worth of booby traps. It should be about 2 or 3 a.m. right now, but I'll just go with it. Did the composer of this film try to emulate the ending of the song Dreamweaver? Because if he did, that's awesome and sinful all at once. Freddy is a big believer in seventh time's the charm. Now we know why it was so helpful that Glenn labeled his headphones. I'm gonna show you yourself, you bastard! I don't know how you managed to dream and be alert to arrest a psycho killer, but I guess you can just teach yourself lucid dreaming after several pots of coffee and copious bottles of stay awake. I'm crazy after all. What the f were you waiting for, asshole? Freddy, who we have seen appear in one place and out of nowhere in the next, is contained by simple doors when the plot requires it. Noticeable crack in window to help people smash through it is noticeable again. Please! Maybe I better go tell a lieutenant. Maybe. <laughs> Kill you slow. Define slow, because you're already there for me. Good God, if this is Nancy's mom's room, how did it not blow up as soon as Freddy ran inside? <laughs> Door shuts for no damn reason other than to provide jump scares for assholes. You remember how you killed the three other people in this movie? You didn't say anything. You just did it. I take back every bit of energy I gave you. You're nothing. What? That f***ing worked? That seriously f***ing worked? Saying things. The power was inside you all along. Yeah, I'm gonna stop drinking. I just don't feel like it anymore. Dream is giving obvious clues to Nancy that this is a dream. Horror movie wants to have the gotcha ending, but it basically renders the previous scene and everything we sat through entirely moot. Why did Freddy disappear after Nancy told him to f*** off? If he had this kind of power, he should have succeeded a lot sooner than this. Man, this motherfucker is multitasking. Plus, we already saw her die once, but maybe that was just Nancy's dream. So, is this Nancy's mom's dream? Now I have no clue what happened in this movie. I can't feel my legs, Kaiser. Is this real life? Yeah, this is real life. Looks like I picked the wrong week to quit amphetamines. Your mother sucks cocks in hell, oh, Paris, Lord, you prayer. faithless oh, slime. Give me the key, mother. I'm the gatekeeper. Are you the key master? Say, you know... I knew I should have made a left turn at Albuquerque. You know, if these kids in this movie had eaten more healthy and energizing snacks, maybe they wouldn't be falling asleep all the time. Maybe snacks are Freddy Krueger's true enemy. Regardless, NatureBox wants you to try their five most popular snacks for free. free. Yes, free. free. Now, go to naturebox.com slash cinemasins to get a free sampler box sent to your door. Free snacks. Five. Fox Force Five. I'm honestly not sure how you're still watching this video. But since you are, let me repeat the opportunity in front of you. You face stuffed with deliciousness because you watched a video and went to a website. It's that freaking easy. You're welcome. And probably also be decreasing your chances of falling asleep too much and facing off with Freddy Krueger by like 5% or something. Again, you're welcome. Naturebox.com slash cinemasins. Go now and don't look back. <laughs>